If the imagined woman makes the real woman seem bare-boned, hardly existent, lacking in gracefulness and intellect and pulchritude, and if you come to realize the imagined woman can only satisfy your imagination, whereas the real woman with all her limitations can often make you feel good, how, in spite of knowing this, does the imagined woman keep getting into your bedroom and joining you at dinner? Why is it you always bring her along on vacations when the real woman is shopping or figuring the best way to the museum? And if the real woman has an imagined man, as she must, someone probably with her at this very moment, in fact, doing and saying everything she's ever wanted, would you want to know that he slips into her life every day from a secret doorway she's made for him? He's present even when you're eating your omelet at breakfast. Or do you prefer how she goes about the house as she does, as if there were just the two of you? Is it her silence finally loving and yours not entirely self-serving? Hasn't the time come once again not to talk about it?